So, um, were you recording at all? So, I'm gonna have to ask you to delete that. Okay. Um, if you could delete that right now. <laughs> so, one day I get a, a text from a buddy of mine. Hey, great news. And I go, what? <laughs> and he says, I have this opportunity for you. I know this guy. He's successful and he's looking for for uh, entrepreneurs to join his team. Can I set up a phone call with him? Do you want to, you can talk to him. And I go, okay, well, whatever. A phone call seems fine. Seems like totally reasonable thing to ask, I guess. I get the phone call, I pick it up. Hey Josh, uh, your friend was telling me all about you. You seem like a great guy. I have this opportunity and I was wondering uh, potentially you'd be a good fit for it. And I go, okay, what's the opportunity? And he goes, well, I can't tell you that many details about it right now. Hey, you know, I I'd like to meet you in person. You know what, sure. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's do this. We'll meet up and he says let's meet a Panera Bread. I'm like sure that sounds nice I probably won't get beaten up at a Panera Bread So the next thing I do is I look up this guy on LinkedIn, you know do some professional stalking and I see Two pieces of work history that catch my attention. The first is a company. How did it go? His name and then endorsements and I look up this company. and There's nothing on it nothing the next piece of work history he has College works painting. My sensors go off and I'm like, woo! <laughs> this is a pyramid scheme, I found one. Now, what exactly is a pyramid scheme? Keep in mind that a lot of these ones aren't called pyramid schemes, called multi-level marketing, AKA the pyramid. Amway sells products to Joe. Joe sells products to his family and friends. Joe then runs out of people to sell to because Joe soon realizes it's hard to sell to people who don't know you. Joe says, hey, if I can get my friends, Billy and Bob, Bod, I'm gonna leave it, Bod, Billy and Bod, to buy product from Amway, so that way they can sell to their family, then what I can do is I can say, hey, because I referred you, some of the money that went to Amway, I'll take some of the money. This diagram makes no sense, but hopefully, the explanation's making it make some sense. You have individuals who are taking money from other individuals, and they're all buying from Amway. So, I show up to Panera Bread. In walks this guy. So I talk to him for a little bit, and he goes, Uh, tell me about yourself. So I, you know, I give him the spiel, and he's like, Wow, this is really great. And he, before I can ask him any questions about what is this, because I want to hear it from him, he keeps dodging that and says, well, you know, we just really need to make sure you're a good fit. He asks me, do you see yourself as an entrepreneur? Do you see yourself as somebody who's unhappy where you are? Money is great, isn't it? This whole time he's like pushing at like financial security and passive income. And I'm like, oh yeah, dude, you know me. I like passive income. Just playing into what he's, what he's wanting to hear. Finally, we get to the end and I go, okay, so what is the opportunity? And he goes, you know what? Uh, I, could, I could try to explain it, but the best person to explain it uh, he's holding a conference tomorrow night. Of course, of course I want to go to this meeting. This is great. I'm in. Now, as you saw at the beginning of this video, I recorded it and they said, please delete that. And where that stands legally and morally is, I did not sign any NDAs or any sort of policy papers. I'm legally allowed to post this, even though he says that it's illegal, which it's not. But what I will do out of respect for the people is I will blur out the faces and detune the voices. So that way, you know, just for confidentiality. Plus detuning the voices makes it sound even dumber. So that's a win. So let's watch what actually happened that fateful night of the event. The meeting starts in half an hour. These guys have rented out a, a Marriott hotel. And I'm just excited to go. It feels like I'm like, it almost feels like I'm gonna be going to like a cult meeting. Hello. Good, I don't know if I'm at the right place. What I is this? Probably are. Uh -huh. Excellent. You are in the right place, my friend. Nice. Josh. Josh. Okay, perfect. You're good to go. Thank right. you. Exactly. Sounds good. Hi. Hi. Are you first time out? First time out. So, <laughs> the first thing I noticed was, I was like, I don't know if I'm at the right place, and instead of being like, oh, well, what are you here for? They were like, you probably are. <laughs> we probably want your money. Probably. <laughs> I love a good business conference that starts with Ellie Golding. Ooh, topical. <laughs> I've gone to some of these like business meetings, these startup fairs, stuff like that. And I've never been to one that had like dubstep to start. 
They're just trying to get us amped up. Woo! Let's go. Yeah. Yes. Let's go. How you guys doing? Tonight, I'm gonna get a, uh, I might get a little passionate, but that's because um, this business has changed your life. You know, I feel like I feel right. like somebody threw us a lifeline um, in life, and we we took it. What we didn't do is we didn't question. We didn't question. We didn't say, well, what does this person have that I, you know, what is this person trying to get from me? We are about a minute <laughs> into this conference, and he already says, don't question. Don't question what I'm about to say. The fact of the matter is, I'm not naive to believe that there's people that want more. Um, did you guys go to school? What did you go to school for? I ended up with community and studies. Okay, so you want to come up here and talk? From where? So here is the first of the school bashing. I'm not sure exactly why he does this. Probably just to foster unhappiness with where people are at in life. I'm not against college. I'm not. I said, I'll just get a general business degree. And if, you went, if you've ever been to the University of Minnesota, they've only got two options for business. They've got the Carlson School of Management. Anybody ever heard of that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's a big sexy name, the big, you know, Carlson School of Management. Ooh, the Carlson School of Management. I go to the Carlson, wait, you know what? No, I got something for this. You bet that name is prestigious. Yeah, don't you dishonor the name of Carlson. The Curtis L. Carlson School of Management. But I think we're getting tricked by society. Like, ah, like, all I'm saying is, is what you've always been told may not be true. <laughs> what you've always been told may not be true. You're welcome. Okay, so do you have $100,000 in the bank? Okay, not even close to that? So you've got to ask yourself a question. Is your way working? At this point, he's talking to a kid who's just said, yeah, I'm 20. And he says, do you have $100,000 in the bank? And the kid goes, no, because of course he doesn't. If you don't have $100,000 in the bank at age 20, what you're doing isn't working. You should try something new. Luckily, this guy has the answers for us. Like, ah, like, because do you know what the definition of insanity is? To do the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. Have you burned toast a couple times in a row because you forget to turn the heat down? You're insane! Ah, oh, God, he's just using, now he's using cliches. That's gone too far, sir. You've gone too far! Because you don't like your time, you don't like being controlled by people. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like it for you. I'm mad at your job. I'm mad at your job for paying your bills and giving you consistent work. Ugh! I'm looking for people who, who want to work hard, who have character, who have, uh, who want to be leaders. What's the point? Wow. What's a, what is a good thing about a job? If, you know, Garrett, you're, you're fixed income, like you're good. It's like you're gonna, you're guaranteed a paycheck. Have you seen some fire, people get fired? Yes, sir. Okay, have you ever been fired? Yes, sir. So how's that guaranteed paycheck going? How many people does he think get fired all the time? He's trying to say that like, your salary isn't guaranteed. Therefore, you should just, do this. So if you want security, my number one thing would be is to then do something for yourself. Because if you're not gonna uh, be in charge of your future, then you are putting that in the hands of somebody else. Could you start your own small business? Yep, you just have to quit your full-time job. Can you afford to quit your full-time job right now and start a different job? No. Nope. Disqualified. 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 Um, our supplier is Amway, our support system is LTD. Amway's been around since 1959. Um, it's an A plus Better Business Bureau rating, and it's got a 100% satisfaction guarantee on all products. If the products were bad, the business wouldn't be here. You have to have a business ID to get started. You're like, oh, that's the catch. I knew it. That's the catch. That's the catch. No, no. Ah! This whole thing is the catch. So that's cool. It brings a lot of credibility because you want to know what your broke brother-in-law says? Right, isn't this a, it sounds like one of those things where you've got to get a bunch of people in. It's like that pyramid thing where the person at the top makes the most money. I say, brother in where do you work? Uh, I work for Wells Fargo. Isn't that a corporate yeah. pyramid? Big pyramid, isn't it, Megan? Oh, your dumb brother-in-law thinks this is a, is a pyramid scheme. What a dummy. <laughs> You're not your dumb brother-in-law, are you? Wells Fargo and every business would be a pyramid scheme by this definition because the people at the top make more money than the people at the bottom. Ah, so gross, so gross. Ugh. Uh, uh. 
disqualified. This is, this is legitimate business. And if you're going to be suckered into thinking that you should go to school to get your grades and get a good job, you might get suckered into believe that there's always somebody out to get you. You sucker. You dummy. Nobody's trying to take your money. Certainly not me. I'm not trying to take your money. Amway is a AAA rated whatever bureau thing. You dummy. What are you? You dumb brother-in-law dummy. If you're, if you're new to the you're like, I'm really not big on sales. Great. In fact, you're probably going to do better than somebody that thinks you're good at sales. Because this isn't sales. This is helping people. This isn't sales. This is helping people. No, you're not going to be better at sales than somebody who does sales because they have practice doing sales. You're helping them because you're giving them a good energy drink. Now, there's people in your life that would love to make that 113 bucks. They'd love to have another $35,000 of power. So let's just network out. We don't get paid any money to get these people started in business. By the way, this is exactly what McDonald's did. This is exactly what Facebook did. This is exactly what Dr. Dre did with his um, music. Ah, but you're not losing money soon because pretty soon, once you've run out of friends to sell to and you've realized how hard it is to sell to people you don't personally know, Especially when you walk up to their door and say, I have energy drinks for you. Ah, well, if I get six of my buddies to do this for me, then I can just take some of their money. Nice. So is Cargill a big pyramid scheme? No. Is McDonald's a pyramid scheme? No. Is helping people <coughs> buy online a scheme? No. This is and, a it's, scheme. and the only people I've ever heard that said that typically are the ones that are not where you want to be in life. This is a scheme. It's not the same! <laughs> it's not the same! The people who are saying that this is bad are not where you want to be in life. They're poor! Do you want to be poor? Ugh. No. Disqualified! These six people know people you don't know. Let's, let's just ride this out a little bit more. They are now going to get paid that three, four hundred dollars, and because now you're at the four thousand point bracket, you're going to be making seventeen hundred bucks a month. Ah, and those people bring in more people. God, it's making a pyramid. Now, I will tell you this, there is a thing called fear and doubt, there is a thing called bad self-images, there is a thing called negative people, naysayers and haters in life. These people are going to stop all of them from making that decision, but some of them will. Ah, those naysayers, those negative Nancys, those people who are like, you know, I think this is genuinely a scheme. You fool, you dummy, what are you, you your stepbrother? Let money chase you. So if you guys came here tonight and you, and you caught a vision, your mind was open, and you realized that maybe your way isn't working, maybe, just maybe, uh, I think one of you guys said, I think you said that things happen for a reason. You become, you know, you believe that. You said, well, you're here for a reason. Come with questions, but not questions of like, well, tell me how this works. And no, 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 no. Be open-minded to this. <laughs> I can't even, uh, I can't even say it. Don't you dare ask. How does this business function? Don't you dare ask, what's going on? <laughs> Dummy, disqualified. Disqualified. Um, working at Wells Fargo's stepbrother. <laughs> I would say questions like, what can I do the fastest to make the money the fastest in this? That's a great question. No. Instead ask how you can play into this as quickly as possible. Oh. God, they're just taking these poor people. So with that, we're done. We're going to take a 15 minute break. Um, I hope I didn't scare you guys because I forgot to smile. <laughs> I just realized I forgot to smile. I forgot to smile too. You know what? I forgot to smile because this made me unhappy. With that, you guys, I really appreciate it. Good night and God bless you. God bless you. I need to talk to you real quick. Me? Yeah, yeah. yeah sure. So, um, were you recording at all? Uh, I recorded a little bit. Okay. Um, so, because there's sensitive business information there, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you study business. Yeah. It's illegal to share certain business stuff with other mm -hmm. people, different organizations without permission. Right. right. Um, so, I'm going to have to ask you to delete that. Okay. Um, if you could delete that right now. Couldn't have lived up better. I got to talk to the guy at the end. He told me that Wells Fargo and all these other businesses are pyramid schemes. And so they asked me, um, they asked me to leave. And that concluded my night. The whole thing was playing on people's desire to have more than what they currently have and taking advantage of them. But thanks so much for watching. You can subscribe if you want. I would appreciate it. Hopefully you just enjoyed the video ultimately. Thank you for watching. I will see you later. Peace. Woo! Let's go. Yes. Ah! Disqualified.